Today, the team is in North Carolina working on the Daryl Barrier Collection. It includes over 100 pedal tractors, farm toys, nicely restored classic tractors, low production garden tractors, and all kinds of vintage signs. Today, the team is split in two. Shannon, Rick, and Jason are working on toys, while Doug and Alex work on the signs. You want to start with that Penzol? You go ahead and make those out. So you're just going to create a spreadsheet, do descriptions and... Yeah, yeah, that way we've got dimensions on everything, conditions. We need to have figured out while we're here touching and feeling it for the people that can't. 30, 31 inches wide, 51 and a half tall. The insert's uh, 16 and a half, 17 inches. Now why do you use your cell phone? Uh, well, you know, we usually started out where we were using big, big cameras doing this, but actually some of these take a lot better photos without a lot of monkeying around with settings, so they're really honestly hard to beat with how good they're getting now. Without the base, he's 58 and a half inches tall, 29 inches wide. Seventy-two inches long, fifty-two inches tall. Fifty-eight inches tall, thirty-two and a half wide. That was hard at work on his lawnmower. Move off this chair. I'm just gonna swap it out. It'd be all right. You could put a. You could make a desk that went right over the top of this. You know. Well, it's, it'd be kind of like a. Uh, you know, you just you just drive it around the office. <laughs> if you need to go outside, go outside. If you need to mow grass. Do that. I'm telling you, I mean, this is, I mean, I think we're on to something here. It's double-sided. That looks like overspray. It is. It is. I, yeah, 22 and a half tall, 58 and a half wide, 42 tall, 59 wide, single-sided, 11 inches tall, 21 and a half wide. 38 inches tall, 60 inches wide. 42 inches tall, 50 inches wide. It's 35 and a half inches tall, 63 inches. 22 and a half inches tall. Oh, we switched it up again, I see. Yeah, you know. I figured for this time of year, wow, and this has a deluxe uh, buddy seat. Look at that. Bring your lady friend along with you when you're mowing, <laughs> yeah. pushing well, snow. That way he can have company in his office. That's right, that's right. 46 and a half inches tall, 44 and a half inches wide. This Phillips sign has got their, has got their original hangers, but they're folded around to the back side of it. Meanwhile, in the toy room. This one. Okay. And it's signed by Joseph Ertel. Four eleven. Dyersville, Iowa, made in USA. But no other markings on it. Rick. Okay. Starts good, runs good. Case neon, international neon, international. Blue Ribbon, International, International. Thanks for an impressive wall. Locks are spinning in the right direction even, what a deal. Almost every tractor company produced some kind of branded clock. They were used in dealerships, 
or as promotional items. These clocks were produced in limited quantities, making them highly sought after by collectors and can bring thousands of dollars. International Harvester is known for their farm equipment, but for years they built refrigerators and freezers. The company released their first line in 1947 with production ending in 1955 when International sold to the Whirlpool Corporation. This refrigerator sign is hard to find in such nice condition. This sign is made from brittle plastic that easily cracks. Okay, let's start at like 50 okay. on, on this and go all the way up to, yeah. Up to the 74. Up, up to 40 and a half. 51. Number 53 is the Gulf Farm Tire Service Center. 33 inches tall, 42 inches wide, 17 and a half tall, G-38, 29 and a half wide. Twenty-eight inches round, four foot wide, seventeen and a half tall, G-72. Uh, yeah. Good year tire sign, porcelain, thirty and a half inches tall. Walker and Company. Thirty-five inches round. The sound of the air compressor signals it's time to move on. The sun is out and the temperature is rising, so the signs have to wait while they catalog the tractors. Coming up. Be sure to follow Old Iron Adventures on Facebook and Instagram. Get the latest news, watch exclusive first look videos, and get plenty of vintage power history. Follow us today on Facebook and Instagram at Old Iron Adventures.